Today we're comparing real cars to GTA cars once again. And the first car we're taking a look at is going to be the Lamborghini Sian versus the Pegasi Ignis in GTA 5. First looks at a full walk around of these two cars. They do look fairly similar, but there are some fairly small differences between them. So let's take a look at the front ends to start things off. The first thing you notice obviously is the headlights. The overall styling is identical. The main difference you see though is the fact that in GTA 5 we can actually see the headlights, while in real life they're painted black. Also the grille on the bottom looks very similar in terms of the styling. Overall the front ends are done pretty well. Next let's take a look at the side profiles of these two vehicles. Obviously they do look pretty damn good. The first thing that I noticed right away is going to be the windows. They look very, very similar. And then you move on over to the actual side of the car. The main thing you notice in real life, that big piece of trim on the back left and right of the vehicle. In GTA 5, we don't have that. We just have that white body panel that kind of turns into a vent, I guess. It does look fairly similar on the front fender. You can see the lining from the headlight going across over to the mirrors on both the vehicles. And then of course, the same thing on the back going over to those two little fins, I guess we have for spoilers. The sides are done pretty well, but the main thing you notice, of course, is that big piece of trim, which we don't have in GTA 5. Next, let's take a look at the rears of these vehicles. The first thing that'll catch your eye is going to be the tail lights. Now, when I take a look at the tail lights, obviously you can see in real life, it has those three shapes, which Lamborghini is kind of leading towards now on all of their cars. And in GTA 5, we don't have that. The main thing I do notice though, is above the tail lights and below the tail lights, the kind of housing that it's in. In GTA 5, we have the same top part of the housing, but not the bottom. The main thing you notice though, is the style of the entire rear, which looks practically identical. They both pop out the back of the car, which I think looks amazing. And I think Rockstar did a great job on that. And then of course you can also see that the fins that both of the vehicles have as their like kind of spoiler option looks really, really great. It looks very similar. They're a little bit smaller in GTA 5 than in real life, but I still think it looks pretty great. Overall, the car is done very, very well. Like I said, there's just a few little things that are really different. The main things that I'll catch your eye obviously are going to be the headlights on the front, how they're not blacked out, then obviously that big piece of trim on the side, and then the tail lights just aren't the exact same at all. Those are pretty much the main differences. Everything else about these cars is very, very similar. And I think Rockstar did an absolutely amazing job at creating the Lamborghini Sion in GTA 5. Next up, we have the Buffalo STX and a Dodge Charger SRT 392. Now, I think Rockstar did an amazing job on this vehicle. Out of all of the vehicles they released in the past little while, I think they did the best job on this. We've been asking for this car for a long time. They finally did it, and they did a great job job. So let's start off by taking a look at the front ends. The first thing you notice is the main grille and the headlights. Obviously the headlight style looks very similar. The main difference in the headlights though is the fact that in GTA 5 they're actually backwards compared to in real life, but the grille that is between them looks identical. Same with the bottom grille and the two side vents next to that grille. I think Rockstar did an amazing job in terms of the styling of the front end. It's hands down a 10 out of 10. In terms of the side profiles, there really isn't too much to the side profile of the Dodge Charger, but Rockstar did do a pretty damn good job. The first thing you notice is going to be that kind of indent I guess the doors have. Now in real life, obviously you could see it pretty clearly. In GTA 5, we have it, but at the same time, we don't. We have a smaller version and instead of just an indent, it's also a vent on the front fender. Then you also notice the windows. In GTA 5, they kind of just curve back, unlike in real life where they curve back and then go straight down on the back window. Other than that, those are the only differences I see. Once again, great job. I would have to say the side profiles are like a 9 out of 10. Next up is going to be the rears of these vehicles. Once again, Rockstar did an amazing job. The first thing you're going to notice, obviously, is the tail lights. So in GTA 5, we have those tail lights. And then in real life, we have actually the exact same tail lights, except in real life, it turns into a light bar. Unlike in GTA 5, where you don't have the bar, we just have the tail lights. The next thing you notice is going to be the side vents. They look identical. Great job on that. And the only other thing I really notice is going to be the license plate indent. In real life, we have that, and in GTA 5, we don't. Overall, the rears look really, really good. There really isn't too much to it. It's a fairly simple looking car, but I think they did a great job. Overall, the car looks absolutely beautiful. Rockstar hit it out of the park. We've been asking for it for so long, and they finally gave it to us, and it looks perfect. There are a few little differences, but honestly, 
they aren't major whatsoever and i think everybody is happy with exactly what we got the only thing i would change is just adding that light bar to the rear of the car i would really like to see that but honestly when you take a look at it at the end of the day it still looks absolutely stunning and they did an amazing job at recreating a new version of a dodge charger in gta 5. next up we have the ns jubilee and then the rolls royce cullinan once again rockstar did an amazing job at recreating these vehicles there's obviously some few minor differences and there's some major ones that still bug me about rolls royces in gta 5 but overall it's looking pretty damn good when we take a walk around around this vehicle so as usual let's start off by taking a look at the front end of both of these vehicles the first thing you're going to notice obviously is going to be the massive grill now in gta 5 it is much bigger than it is in real life next thing you'll notice is going to be the headlights they look fairly similar in gta 5 they look a little bit outdated i'm not going to lie and then obviously the vents on the bottom three on the bottom and then two right above there Rockstar did a great job on that, but the main thing that's missing is the Spirit of Ecstasy, obviously, in GTA 5, which we don't have. But other than that, they look identical. The main difference you see is the fact that the grill is so much bigger in GTA 5 than it is in real life. Overall, though, they did a pretty damn good job. Next, taking a look at the side profiles, they look amazing. There's just one main thing, and that's the fact that the one in GTA 5, much like every other Rolls-Royce remake we have in GTA, doesn't have the coach doors, which gets really annoying because that's the main thing about the sides of these Rolls Royces, and it's the one thing that a lot of people really love about them. Other than that, though, the side profiles are identical in terms of the windows, in terms of the chrome trim on the bottom, and the lining on the bottom as well. Everything looks the same. Obviously, it's missing that little badge on the front fender, but other than that, it's literally just not having the coach doors that is the only difference and I really wish we had them. Next up, let's take a look at the rears of these vehicles. It looks amazing. There is only like two little differences that you'll notice when taking a look at these vehicles. The first thing is gonna be the taillights. The styling is the same, but in terms of actually looking at them, in real life, we only have one taillight, when in GTA 5, we have two. But the actual style of the light itself is the same. And obviously, we have the chrome trim right above the license plate and right below where the rear bumper is, and then the entire styling of the rear is identical in both cases. Once again, Rockstar did an amazing job at this. They just changed around a few little things, and it looks pretty much perfect. Overall, the vehicle looks amazing. The main thing you're going to notice is obviously not having those coach doors, and if we had them in GTA 5, they would look practically identical. Even though they already do look practically identical, except for a few other minor little things, and I wish we could have seen the Spirit of Ecstasy on the front of this car as well. Overall though, Rockstar did an outstanding job at recreating the Cullinan in GTA 5. Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of it. Next up, we have the Mercedes AMG G63 6x6 and then the Dubsta 6x6. Now, of course, the Dubsta was made a long time ago, back in 2013, and Rockstar's design style back then was very different from how it is now. If they re-released this vehicle now, it would look completely different. But let's start off by taking a look at the front end of both of these vehicles. The first thing you notice is the grill in real life it's obviously a little bit more curved in gta 5 it's more square and rectangular the headlights look the same and then obviously we don't have those three grills or vents on the bottom and then of course we do have that piece of metal i guess to block it from hitting rocks and damaging the body of the vehicle overall for such an old vehicle in gta 5 it looks pretty damn good from the front end. Next up, we have the side profiles. Now, honestly, there really isn't too much to them, and there really isn't too many differences. They both look pretty much the same. It just looks like the one we have in GTA 5 is just outdated, I'm not gonna lie. Other than that, they look practically identical. The only other thing I notice is the fact that the one in real life just looks a little bit bigger than the one we have in GTA 5. The one in GTA just looks kind of small, but at the same time, it's the exact same size as the one in real life. Like, honestly, I don't really see too many differences in terms of the side profiles at all between these two vehicles. Next up is the rear. The main difference you see here is going to be the truck bed door. Now, in real life, it's way smaller. It looks really, really small, and honestly, you never see something like this on a truck. And in GTA 5, it looks like a normal, you know, door to a truck bed. And then obviously the other difference is we don't have those chrome bull bars, but we do also have that piece of metal underneath the vehicle that blocks it from, you know, rocks and stuff hitting the actual body. Other than that, it's literally just the door to the truck bed that is different. We do have the roll bars, I guess, on the back and everything. And obviously the rear window is a little bit smaller in real life than it is in GTA 5. But honestly, 
The whole vehicle looks pretty damn amazing, and Rockstar did a great job on this, especially since it was released such a long time ago in GTA 5. Like I said, the design style was completely different back then to how it is now, so if they were to recreate this vehicle in GTA Online in 2022, a decade later almost, obviously it would look a lot more realistic, but when I really look at it, it doesn't really need to be remade. If anything, we just need a few more modifications to add to the dubs to 6x6 in GTA 5, because then it would look pretty much flawless. Overall, Rockstar did a great job, especially since the vehicle is so old. But that pretty much wraps the video up for today. If you guys want to see another episode of this, there's a link down below in the description to seven other videos I've done in the past, and there's probably going to be some more in the future, so check out that playlist every once in a while. And of course, if you want to see another episode, comment down below some cars that you want to see compared to their real life counterparts obviously i've done a lot of these before so like i said take a look down below in the description if you're interested but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed and with that said i'll catch you guys in the next one